Hey, good evening. What's up, everyone? Brent here with Kinetic Ventures, and today we're testing out something pretty cool. And no, it's not Jimmy Buffett's margarita recipe, uh, because we're going to be at Margaritaville. Sorry, it's an AI script. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a Tesla video, and uh, pretty standard updates lately. Uh, we're getting something really cool next week. I'll go over that later in the video. I do a lot of summoning with my vehicle. Uh, as far as I know, watching the popular YouTubers, I use it the most often out of all of them because they say uh, it doesn't work and it, they hardly ever use it. I use it all the time. And in my experience, yeah, there's a lot of uh, room for improvement, but it does work for me in most scenarios. Other times, it wants to do property damage. That's in the parking lot. All by itself. No, no, no cars around it. It's got to go to the end, though, to come down this driveway to pick me up here in front of Margaritaville. Paradise Pier. So, let's see if it comes to me. Normally, it'll just come straight to me, try to get onto the curb, but it needs to go through that parking lot, around it, and then down the driveway. We're in the heart of Gulf Post at Margaritaville. I'm about to put the Tesla's summon feature to the test. Will my Tesla come to me like a well-trained puppy, or will it pull a hold my beer moment? Let's find out. <clears throat> I gotta start doing my own scripts. And it looks like it's gonna try to come right to me. Hopefully it doesn't go into the place where there's all kind of vehicles. And it looks like it's doing that. So we're going to stop it there. And try something else. I'm going to give it a target. See if it goes through these vehicles. We got an oncoming car. Stop it there. Let this car get around it. I'm just walking with it, make sure it uh, doesn't hit any other vehicles. It likes to try to go into other vehicles. doing the right thing it's going uh... well it's got a target right here so it's gonna try to turn this is a sidewalk though it tried to go that way but it is making its way through the parking lot gonna run this stop sign. Just needs to keep going. A little maybe pedestrian caused it to do that. And 
and it's going right to the target. So it would have come and picked me up. All right. Okay, that was successful. A little bit nerve wracking. As it made its way through the parking lot. I could just as easily do that while I'm in the vehicle. We got the same target. We're going to just do it again. Same test. But I'm in the vehicle now. Go to target. Doesn't really follow the rules of the parking lot. Man, that's a big old break. It doesn't follow the lane, the lanes of the parking lot. It just goes to the target. It doesn't care if this was a one way. Okay, not sure why he's trying to run into that car. Okay, we're gonna stop it there. All right, that was pretty smooth, but enough of the good vibes here. Let's head over to Win Dixie. You know where the parking lot is like a battlefield of grocery carts and shopping moms. This should be interesting. Okay, this time we're gonna give it a scenario, an easy scenario, seemingly. It's just gotta pull out in this lane here, get into the main lane in front of Win Dixie, go up to the door where I'm going to put the target. Now, sometimes it acts like it just wants to go straight to the target, like through these cars, through the curb. Uh, other times it works great. Let's hope that's one of these times. Other times it'll go to the left and go around the parking lot, through the lanes. And it, in, you know, Walmart, it's a one way or one way or the other lanes on many of them. And it'll, it doesn't care about that. So let's see how it does here with the target. All right, so right under the Winn-Dixie sign, right there, I could be ready to pick up. Traffic looks clear and go to target. Avoids this curb here, hopefully. There's an oncoming vehicle, it should Steer to the right of it. Okay, a little hesitation there, waiting for it to move out of the way. Going forward, uh, into the other lane, back out. Okay, now it's doing its thing, going to the target. Into the oncoming lane a little bit, and we're good. <laughs> Okay, and now it gives me back control. After relinquish control. All right, folks, both tests are done, and I gotta say I'm impressed. Can't wait to see what's coming next. There is something even cooler coming. Tesla just announced they're dropping an updated summon feature next week. That's right, a new and improved. It's gonna be a wide release next week. It's gonna have better communication with the app, which is very important, and. It looks like it's going to follow some basic traffic laws now. As you can see here in this 3D render, it's uh, going to actually back out of the parking space, go around the parking spaces, following the lanes, as opposed to before where we just drive through the empty spots. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, because these updates are going to be worth watching. Join me next time. Take care, God bless.